welcome back everyone to another video and today's experiment is based on a few questions that i have received over a couple of years and mostly to do with the aosp build process or building the android operating system and they are related to the fact that can you build an android os on a lower end machine and if so how much time will it take and is it really worth the trouble to go ahead and set up a very low end machine to build android now a lot of people that i know don't really have machines that are technically speaking capable of building a full operating system let alone an operating system that is heavily reliant on java being compiled or java based programs being compiled which tend to take a lot more resources than basic C stuff. So uh, today's video again we are going to test this out. For that we have our two main systems that I have. My laptop which happens to be a dual core Pentium uh, CPU uh, clocked at 1.9 GHz back with just 4 gigs of RAM. So that is a pretty low end hardware. Now if you have anything less than 4 gigs of RAM don't really think about compiling Android. So with that said, the second system is my Core i3 uh, dual core processor with hyper threading. So total of four logical cores and back with eight gigs of RAM. Now we are testing it with Android x86 uh, Marshmallow branch. And the reason we are using Android x86 is that it will reduce the overhead um, of compiling ARM binaries, of cross compiling ARM binaries and I didn't really my, want my laptop to be running for uh, very very long periods of time although it did actually end up being a pretty long build. So uh, why we are using uh, Marshmallow and not Nougat? The reason is Nougat actually tends to build on a system called Jack. Now Marshmallow also uses Jack but it utilizes Jack in a very different way. The way Nougat utilizes Jack to build the Java components is that it uh, requires a very very uh, large amount of memory and it reserves that memory and works off it. So if you have less RAM it won't work. So if you are planning on building Nougat uh, go for at least 8 gigs of RAM and there are chances that your build will still crash without a proper modification to the source code to the build environment. Uh, so it does crash for me on my i3. My Nougat builds are actually pretty modified uh, in terms of the build environment allowing Jack to limiting Jack uh, to just 4 gigs of RAM anything over that and uh, my system starts to swap a lot anything less than that and Jack automatically crashes. So that is our build setup one core i3 versus one uh, Intel Pentium dual core. So the results are that on my Pentium system the build took almost 7 hours actually a bit more than full 7 hours and that is a lot of time for something like a laptop or even an older system to be running and which and this same build took only three and a half hours on my main system so which is just fine i mean that is sort of the average for mid-range pcs to build basic operating systems and that works out to be just great but on my laptop it took actually so much time i won't really be doing it anytime soon and hopefully it never comes to that that i will have to compile android on my main sys uh, on my laptop because seven hours is a bit too much and for that seven hours basically your system is completely uh, and utterly unusable so if you are really into uh you know if you are stuck somewhere stuck at stuck with something and you have to have to build it is possible to do so but uh, i wouldn't reg uh, recommend doing it on a daily basis first of all it takes a lot of time and second of all the amount of heat generated and the amount of power consumed by the cpu and these are pretty low cost uh, low powered cpus uh, and running them like this continuously will definitely damage them over time uh, more than it will damage something uh, on a desktop or uh, with a, a CPU that is designed to handle that sort of a load. So Core i3 and above is completely fine. I wouldn't really recommend doing it on a Pentium based CPU. If you are really uh, want to do it on a low end CPU, maybe try uh, Core to do or something like that. Those are proper, proper desktop CPUs uh, meant for 
pretty heavy loads so if you really want to have a budget build that can compile android and you are extremely tight on a budget uh, go ahead for something like a core to do if you find a new one that's great because some people do uh, hoard them uh, sorts of but uh, if you're going for something newer go with an i3 so that was about it thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one